Hey guys, I am Marcus and in this video I am going to show you how to use Clockify. Clockify is a free time tracker that can be used by teams as well as for the individuals when needed. And I believe after you watch this video you will have a better understanding of it. Here we go. Let's start tracking time with its free version. Now we can sign in with Gmail or normal email so I'll just add my email and go like that. Here we go. We are on the dashboard page and that's really cool. We can see that the time tracker on the left. Then we can see the calendar. Then we have a dashboard. Then you are going to see reports. Afterwards, you can manage your projects, manage your team lines, tags, and then settings where you can edit everything. When you go to the top right corner, you can see that you have a dark theme that we are enabling because dark is good. And if you work in the evenings as I do, a dark theme is best for you. You can change your profile picture here, change your personal information like your name and email and also change your email notifications and time settings like week start day start by clicking again to profile settings then to the right you can download the apps for android and ios devices actually i would suggest you to download the apps on your devices if you want to because that will help you keep track of the times and everything on your phones without having to use your desktop or laptops. Next to the upgrade, you are going to see your workspace and you can manage them and you can simply create a new workspace. So if you want to have a workspace for YouTube or for a new client, you just create a new workspace with the name YouTube create and I can activate it and I can move between workspaces simply. The settings of the workspace let you change the company logo here. So you can also activate the timesheet. On the top left, you can reactivate it. If you want to, you can also change the rate of the workspace. You can change the default value of every hour. When there is no user of the project, our rate, you can change the currency when you create the project and make it such that it is available to all the users and source time entries are set and you can make it billable and who can see the blueberries admins or everyone you can choose who can create tags if you want to use these premium features you will have to upgrade to get access to it you will also have alerts here account authentication and you will also be able to import data here but let's just start with the tutorial time tracker now and let's just simply write what I'm looking for on YouTube. I can simply click on Plusher add project and it will automatically create a new project. I will add a project name, YouTube channel and choose a simple client. I can also add a client. So I will choose Jessica for, ex for an example and I can have templates but I need to upgrade the software. It will be easier to read because like the YouTube channel is right over here. Voila it is. The YouTube video on the project YouTube channel Jessica. And I can simply add tags like YouTube create, YouTube tag and then I can see if it's buildable. Let's just click start. But definitely in settings you need to change workspace build array. To go we will apply this rate to all entries that don't have a project teammate and let's go with 15 and all past and future entries from now on save i am going to go back to the time tracking let's go to the youtube video we can simply click the project youtube youtube channel jessica and tag youtube and then let's click start you can also see the time you can just add it or simply start the timer but I really got it and I'm going to show you how to use the calendar properly for example if we see here there is 4 p.m. right now it has started but we can also schedule things we have a dashboard here where you can switch between billability and project here only me my team and reports are shown 
it's really simple and you can see everything like details weekly shared and then you can go to the top right and create a new project we can add a project name so let's see what pinterest strategy is i can add a new client and let's go with parker change the colors to this one and voila we have a printer strategy then we have a team here that i can add multiple members to and then i have clients here so again i don't know how to archive or delete them in the time tracker i'm going to click stop and right now i can see that it was youtubeable from this time i can duplicate it or delete it on the dashboard i'm going to see that we get almost two minutes what i can do is just go to the dashboard and say it was automatically added from before here i can click stop and the client is added now let's say i click time and add three or four minutes and click add nice and voila we have one hour of work so we can get a summary okay we got one hour of work of billable hour and that's fifteen dollars i can do the same thing but let's say it happened yesterday between two and four and took two hours there are two important options for me i can simply delete the time tracking or not or i can delete the time tracking on the dashboard i can see that i worked for two hours yesterday and for one hour today if i go to billability yesterday's work was thirty dollars and today's was fifteen dollars it really likes a top-notch thing then in reports i can see that here i can be detailed of what was actually happening like 44 seconds one minute 35 one hour two hours and etc so that's basically how you can use clockify very simply and uh, track your time of course i hope that you find the video very helpful and I hope that it made your life very easy just like mine. Clock5 is an amazing tool that you should try if you are interested in time tracking. So just get started with it and let us know how you feel after using it. So thank you very much everybody for watching and if you have any questions I'm here for you. Have a great day and goodbye. See you later.